Honestly, I still don't think Kimmich's wife's that hot. Hey, there's a reason he's retiring. To see her? Hi, and welcome to the BC Update. I'm Andrew Shepard. And I'm Sean Salemi. We're Brooklyn College's most viewed news source, ripping off The Daily Show since last week. This week in Gaza. Dude, that's not Gaza. What? That's yeah, the West Quad. Wait, I thought this was the West Quad. Oh, Sm wow. Bicycle riding? Small trees and everything. Oh, not bad. Well, it was supposed to be done two years ago. The construction of the West Quad is going to be finished in May 2009 with a grand opening in September 2009. Andrew, wait. This is just in. The construction of the West Quad has been pushed back again. And the grand opening this time will be December 23rd, 2012, the day of the Mayan apocalypse. With the grand opening in September 2013, 13 survivors will celebrate Wait, the- Wait, yes, yes. This just confirmed Will Smith will be attending as keynote speaker. Uh, I hope I make it. Wait, hold on. I'm just receiving word that the construction of the West Quad will actually be completed just after the third ice age. Really? Well, by then, the Zygots, an alien race with superior technology, will have taken over and established their capital in the ruins of Kimmich's dying dream. So, let me get this straight. A black president was inaugurated before they finished the West Quad? Well, we can have a Jewish president by the time they're done. Or a woman president. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll never happen. <laughs> so, why isn't the project completed? It's simple, really. We're broke. According to Excelsior, President Kimmich is quoted as saying he's willing to swear on a stack of Bibles that the West Quad project will be done by May or June. Let's go, Kimmich! So where did the money go? Well, maybe we did splurge a little too much on those custom-made glass planes from Canada. Canada, isn't that outsourcing? No, Canada's actually our 53rd state. No, no. Canada is like our lazy maid. No, it's like our ugly cousin. More like a freeloading college student. You mean you? So, wait a minute. We spent all this money tearing down a building we can't afford to replace. Well, at least we're ranked the most beautiful college campus since 2003 by the Princeton Review. From the fresh smell of manure under the ginkgo trees to the frozen fish hanging out in the pond, Nothing speaks beautiful like scaffolding and sweaty construction workers. Well, of course, but that's not Brooklyn College's only construction project. There's the new Performing Arts Center, the new Science Building, and you can't forget the brand new student dorms. Normally you'd think they complete one finished building before starting three others. Well, you would think, but by the time they're done with all these projects, the campus is supposed to look like this. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Coming up next, our correspondent, Anita Flores, takes on the D-Bag of the Week. Naked? Possibly.